So regardless of what's getting the most attention online for dieting, extreme isn't necessarily the thing. Melissa reports about the small changes you could make for big results. Are you maximizing your health insurance? Check the fine print for benefits you may have not known existed. You're going to find some hidden gems in there that are really going to help you prioritize your health care. You might be able to be reimbursed for your gym membership or for massage therapy or something like getting a health coach. All of these things can help you create a very personalized plan that can really set you on the path to good health. Another pro tip, dump your doctor if you're not thrilled with them. We saw research that shows that when you have a good relationship with your doctor, you can actually be healthier. Figure out exactly what you're looking for in the relationship. Are you looking for somebody who has a great bedside manner? Are you looking for somebody who has a super organized and communicative office staff? Do you want somebody who's simply a good listener? And if your current doctor isn't fitting that bill, then maybe it's time to move on to somebody else. And before you even get to the hospital, down health apps to stay on top of those resolutions. There's a couple that I really like. One is called Pinto and Pinto is an app that allows you to scan a food label and the app will give you a nutritional analysis of the ingredients. So for instance, um, if you're looking to reduce added sugar, the app will show you that there's added sugar in that particular food. Speaking of apps, social media could be sabotaging your rest. Tip four, make rest a priority. What we're suggesting is that you take five minutes a day to really sit down and focus on and think about something that's going to help you really relax in the moment. So for instance, calling a friend or taking a power walk or my favorite, which is just taking a quick nap. And I find that that really helps reset me for the day. And last but not least, are you saying no enough? If you really want to try one of these resolutions first, the one to try is the simplest one, and that is just saying no. I like to say no is a complete sentence. Last time was put qualifiers on the end. No, I can't do that because, instead of just going, sorry, no. All right, Melissa, thank you. And in case you just missed some, the health tips and more are in this issue of Women's Day on newsstands right now.